so Tree, are there other genes that you've um, had time to look at that are connected with anxiety? Yes, so I mentioned the MTHFR uh, polymorphism, specifically the A. 1298C. Um, we, yeah. you've, I know you've had other people speaking about methylation, but this gene is needed to make serotonin as well. It's needed to make our other neurotransmitters. So this could definitely play a role. I mentioned how it's needed for detox. Uh, so it's, it really plays a role in helping us get rid of environmental toxins. Interestingly enough, uh, one of the types of anxiety that I, I help people with is pyroluria, which is mm. uh, considered genetic. I know there's some uh, people saying that it might be environmental and maybe those those environmental toxins are triggering the pyroluria but i've seen many people with pyroluria also have one or both of the mthfr polymorphisms and we know that uh, methylation polymorphisms play a role in uh, miscarriages and uh, fertility issues but we also know that miscarriages are common in pyroluria and more often than not it's the baby boys that are miscarried so there may be a connection there um, i don't think we've got enough mm -hmm. research to confirm it but there certainly is a possibility there you mentioned the compt uh, polymorphism and how it affects dopamine production and how too much uh, dopamine can increase anxiety. Um, the OXTR gene, which is an oxytocin receptor gene, uh, there's some research showing that that may play a role in postpartum depression and anxiety. Um, and then the other genes that I've had uh, quite a lot of uh, I've looked at quite extensively are some of the CYP liver enzyme polymorphisms, uh, cytochrome P450. There's uh, two genes that seem to play a role in, um, in uh, using, when you're using benzodiazepines. Now, benzodiazepines are commonly prescribed for anxiety. It's a class of medications. I don't think anyone should be on. Too many people have prescribed them long-term. They build up tolerance. They start to get rebound symptoms. It's very difficult to taper. And there's a subset of people who are trying to taper benzos, um, for example, Valium and Xanax, Ativan, and they have a really, really hard time. And it seems like there are some of these liver polymorphisms that may be playing a role. 